You got way less traffic than Chicago, so that's sick. Way less wind, also sick. Way, way less Ethiopian restaurants, too. So thank you guys very much. I realized that the last couple of years have been absolutely fucking miserable for every single person on the planet. Can't do it. Which is perfect for the emo resurgence. But it really is. Um, but you guys fucking stick with it, all right? I think that we're turning a corner, and I think that if we if we get along a little bit better, and we stop making snap irrational comments on the internet about the festival, not really. But I think a lot of you guys probably over the past couple of years have spent more time arguing with your family online than you ever spent arguing with your family in person. So the problem is the goddamn internet, not you. Don't let it drive you crazy, all right? Don't let it drive you wild. So if you could, for the... I don't even know what she's saying, man. She's getting wild in this place tonight. But broke my fucking train of thought. So for the past two years, being in a band has been really weird. Because you haven't been able to do anything except like hang out online and in chat rooms and do virtual shows and it's creepy. And uh so being here in this room tonight with you guys means a lot more than you think that it does. Um, if you could, when we're finished with this song, if you could help us out and pick up a t-shirt or an autograph vinyl or something like that. I'm not joking, the last two years being in a band has been very, very hard. And it will help keep us here for the next 20 years, all right? grandparents and not just emo dads. You guys gotta keep us here. Or you're gonna have to start listening to bad shit. Alright? So thank you guys so much. When we're done, if you guys act cool, calm, and collected. No, I ain't doing that shit, man. I ain't doing that shit. Um, I'll come back there with our merch guy, Pat, and hang out for a little bit. But we must remain a safe distance because if any of you guys give me COVID, I can't fucking tour or support my family. And if I give you COVID, then I'll never be able to sleep again. Um, so let's just keep our distance. I'm going to help our merch guy, Pat. If you want anything autographed or anything like that, I'll gladly do it. Uh, because we give a shit about you guys. Um, one of the wildest things about Hawthorne Heights is we we do care. We build our set list for our fans, not for our own enjoyment. Uh, which is why we call this set list bangers only, because we wanted to play what you guys wanted to hear. And uh, we find that to be important. So, we got one guy yelling deep cuts. Half of you guys have never even heard Ohio's For Lovers, and this guy's trying to hear demos and B-sides and shit. But, uh, yeah, so when we're done, come over there and say hello. If you could help us out, it would fucking, it would mean the world to us, all right? Thank you guys so much. Please sing it as loud as you can. Do us a favor. Keep supporting the night shop. We're going to leave this place tonight, but we want to be able to come back here. So make sure that you support it, all right? There's not a lot of places like this in the world. Great food, great drinks, great fucking vibes. You got to keep this here in the Midwest, all right? Hell yeah. All right. Sing along. What do we got? Can you give a shout out to our buddy Travis? He passed away last week. Very, very sorry for your loss. This one goes out to Travis. Thank you.
Relax, don't get crazy, don't act like it's 2004, because it ain't. Thank you guys so much, we love you. We're Hawthorne Heights, for real, thank you.